kill me, I've been in your closet. I'm sorry, I would have told you, but you were nowhere to be found. Oh, I've been right here. And I really need something to wear. And I knew that you had millions and millions of fabulous things in your closet. Because you, you're, you're stylish and you're sexy, even on your worst days. Unlike sad, unfashionable me, who left everything you could possibly wear at a wedding back okay, in London. Okay, okay, take a deep breath, Kelly. It's all right. Oh my gosh, you even take the fun out of watching me grovel. You can, I don't care, you can wear a wedding. Who, who's, who's wedding? Bo and Nora's. When? Today. Aren't you going? I wasn't invited. Oops. I think I should probably get that. Well, how could Bo and Nora not invite me to the wedding? Well, it probably just got lost in the mail. Well, got lost in the mail? What, yours? You made it to you when you've been squatting here for less than, a, well, just a few months. And me on the head, I've been living here forever. This is my home. And mine suddenly goes missing? Okay, it's possible. You know, it's a snub. That's what it is. What have I ever done to Bo and Nora? I mean, I am a friend to all and an enemy to none. Isn't Nora real close to Marty Saybrook? Marty Saybrook? Oh, my God. Do they don't think that I can be actually civilized to that wet rag for what? Till their wedding is over? I love weddings. Well, maybe Nora remembers how much you love her last one. What are you talking about? Look, it's probably just meant to be a small, intimate ceremony. Okay, how should I know? All right, I gotta get that. Wait, intimate? What? It's intimate what? It's intimate that she can invite you and not me? You know what? They probably had to make the cutoff somewhere. No, no, you who snubbed Kevin Buchanan, yet you still got invited to a family wedding. Me, on the other hand, is going to let me borrow this dress, no, right? I'm gonna let you borrow my dress. Lyra, yeah, get me on, my you dress. You, you can wear it. This is a bad time. I rang the bell several times, and you probably couldn't hear me over the yelling. Is everything okay? Oh, everything's just fine, except my dear cousin Kelly can't take no for an answer, which, by the way, you owe me two grand for this. That dress didn't cost two grand. Yeah, you're the one that wanted to wear it. Not that badly. So, what do you need, John? What can I do for you? John is probably here to see me. I'm sure you have some news about my mom's case. No, sorry. Um, I have an FBI friend working on something, and I'm just, I'm waiting to hear. Oh, well, since you're not here to see Miss Kelly... I'm here to see you. Really? What a shocker, since everything seems to revolve about this thing over there. Okay, Blair, you've made your point. Oh, yeah? So, what do you need? Actually, I'm here for Nora. She needs your help. Huh. Oh, does she now? Nora needs my help? Yeah, it's sort of an emergency. Hmm, what kind of emergency, pray tell? Uh, well, as you know, uh, today is Nora and Bo's wedding. Really? Wow, I had no idea. Oh, I just thought that... Oh, that I had been invited? Well, you know what? I thought so, too. Funny. Hmm. Well, you see, the thing is, the wedding singer... Got sick. And you thought that I would just be a perfect substitution, right? I thought of the person with the most beautiful voice I know. Now, John, that's really sweet of you, and I am so flattered. But you also should know that I don't play second fiddle to anyone. So you can just mosey on back to Nora, Hannon, Gannon, Buchanan, Colson, Hannon, Buchanan, and tell her that she can take her latest Buchanan marriage and shove it. Rate an invitation, but now I'm suddenly the floor show. You know, they got a lot of nerve. Really? You want a repeat of last year? What are you talking about? Okay, both sides of the Atlantic have heard about the scene you and Dorian made at Nora's wedding to Clint. Both of you showed up completely blitzed and crashed it. Okay, first of all, you weren't even there, Kelly, and secondly, I was not blitzed. Okay, okay, you know, maybe I had one too many adult beverages. Maybe I got just a little bit too vocal, but that never would have happened if a certain someone hadn't have dumped me to hook up with Marty Saybrook. And then they send that certain someone over here to recruit me into saving their wedding. Well, thank you very much. 
It makes you feel any better, Marty and I broke up. You did? Yeah, actually, it does make me feel just a little bit better. Does that mean you'll do it? Not that much better. You know, I, I never realized things were so tense between you and Bo and Nora. Neither did I, John. Guess I better go find another singer. Oh, why bother? I'm right here. You sing? Don't look so shocked. I have been known to carry a tune from time to time. <laughs> right. <gasps> On a full moon, along with the rest of the yard dogs in Landview. How would you know you have never heard me sing? Oh, sing no. Screech yes. In the shower, John, every day you should hear her. It sounds like she's choking a chihuahua and the chihuahua's fighting back. Okay, don't listen to her. I have a good voice. Possibly even better than, than Blair's. Oh, you, you actually think he's buying this? Kelly, I don't know if you know, he's the chief of detectives here. Would you like to take a look at the set list? Sure. Here. John! Are you, John! You buying this? Listen, listen, I'm desperate. Bo and Nora need a singer, you won't do it. I gotta give her a shot. Well, yeah. the only shot that you're gonna need if you hear her sing is a shot right here between the eyes. Give me that. I'm so not gonna let you humiliate the family name. I could do this in my sleep. Kelly, on the other hand, will be just fine if they wanted a chorus of croaking frogs. But no, Nora and Bo would like a real chanteuse. Oh, if only we had a real chanteuse. I could do it. You said you wouldn't. Well, I could possibly do it if Nora would apologize. Nora's busy. Would you accept one for me? I'm sorry. Okay. I'll do it. But I'll need lots of honey and okay. lots of tea. All right. And a little bowl, actually a large bowl full with those um, multicolored candies. Because those are so good for your voice. No green ones, please. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, John. Excuse me now, I must leave you two and prepare for my performance. You're good. 